today's video. This is gonna be kind of a casual video filming on my phone. As you can see, I have no lashes on. And my lash lady currently is not working because her husband is on the same TDY as my husband. And she has nobody to like watch her kids while she does lashes. Um, Cause it does take like your full attention to do lashes, you know? I'm kind of like a little bit desperate. <laughs> I'm going to Mexico. This is a very spontaneous trip. I'm like three, three, two and a half weeks, somewhere around there. I really like to have lashes on vacation because I typically, believe it or not, I typically do not do my makeup on vacation. I might do it like one day. I probably won't while we're in Mexico though because I'm just going with my family and it's gonna be a lot of like in the ocean and like, you know, swimming with dolphins and things like that, like dungeons. I did already order a pack of glue on strip lashes because my mom said that they stayed in, stayed on in the water last time because she wears them every day. I don't know if they will, but I ordered them just in case. But then I saw this at the BX. I've seen these before, but I've never really wanted to try them. I've been a little bit too scared to be honest. Like how well I would do it and if they would ruin my lashes because this is not the proper way to do your lashes. Like it doesn't matter what anybody tells you on here, on TikTok, especially TikTok. They really blow up on TikTok. This is not, these DIY kits are not the proper way to do your lashes and is going to be damaging a little bit probably. They're not gonna be glued to each little tiny individual lash like lash extensions would be. You don't know what I'm saying. Maybe go like watch just like a couple seconds of a like lash extension process and you'll see that they literally put them on your individual lashes. I got these because I thought I could try them, give them a shot. They're only supposed to last two weeks. I highly doubt they're going to last two weeks, honestly. I'll be shocked if they do. But I'm only going to Mexico for a week, so they only have to look good for a week. So I'm gonna try them beforehand so that I don't, I'm not like the night before my flight doing this and then I'll pissed off that it didn't work. You know, this was like $12, I think, not too bad. It comes with honestly everything you need except for remover, which I don't like that it doesn't come with remover. I'm gonna put them on. We'll do like a couple updates, um, maybe like two days from now, two weeks from now, and if they last that long and then me trying to remove them properly. I like a dramatic look, but I'm hoping that they just look decent, to be honest. Okay. This kit is better than a lot of the ones I've seen, especially like drugstore ones, because um, a lot of them, they have it where you like brush the glue onto your lashes and then you just apply them that way instead of dipping each little, um, individual lash in the glue like you're supposed to. So that's one thing. Ooh, these are really soft. That's good. There's a lot of kits out there. Um, I haven't tried them, but I've just seen them and this one looks to be pretty good. It does have a Allure Beauty Award. So here or like white glue and black glue. A really nice pair of tweezers. As using tweezers, you're supposed to gently grip the band of a cluster, lift it off the tray, dip the band portion only into the glue. Do not saturate it. Starting from the outer corner of your eye, place the band as close to your lash line as possible and repeat. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm shaming this kit for not having a remover. I just couldn't read this. This says lash adhesive remover. This is the remover. That makes me feel better doing this. This is what it looks like laying out in front of me. And I'm gonna start with the long ones or medium is what they're called, length ones on the outer corner of my eye and move toward the inner corner with the short ones. This is honestly terrifying to me because I am so like just against lashes being done wrong. And I know that this is like, this is wrong because I'm not going to be separating uh, each individual lash. So I already know that I'm doing it wrong, you know? In the professional way, like this is very not professional, but I'm gonna try. So I'm gonna take a little long lash, dip the band. I also wonder how long this glue takes to dry because well, I don't know how long um, professional lash glue takes, but I know it's pretty quick. Oh my God, I feel like I'm gonna like glue it on wrong. It already feels wrong, honestly. 
Um, I can't, I can't do it, I can't do it. Like, where, how does this dry? I don't know, I just feel like this might help the glue dry because I don't feel like it's drying. It seems like it's pretty on there. I just, I don't know. I'm so used to somebody doing it for me. Let me try a couple more. No, cut the heck. <laughs> okay, I placed the second cluster and there is a little bit of glue on my skin, but I think they're starting to look better. I just feel like this helps. I don't know if it does. Third cluster is on. Say these look pretty decent so far. Might be speaking too soon. I also looked this up on Amazon before I bought it to see the reviews. It has a lot of reviews and it's like four or four and a half stars and they all say, oh, it only took me like 15 minutes. I think this is gonna take me longer than 15 minutes, maybe 30. Um, which is fast for lash extensions, but also, like I said, this is not the correct way to do lash extensions. This is a DIY $11 method, okay? And we know how much lash extensions cost, right? Lash extensions usually take, for a full set, it, like, especially like this voluminous, um, would take like two to three hours. So an hour and a half if you get somebody that's really experienced and quick. But that's pretty rare about a little bit is how these are going to be sleeping because for me lash extensions are pretty comfortable sleeping in i still sleep on my side um which you're not supposed to do but like you can't really completely prevent that because once you're asleep and you move if you move in your sleep what i mean what are you gonna do so i would say they look really great i don't think they look that different than uh, professional ones not that hard to put on Watch me mess up just because I said that. They are, it is a little annoying if you like see how that's sticking up and then you have to like mess with it. That one was decently easy. But if it gets all like flipped around the wrong way, that's a little annoying. It's not like super glue, which is one thing I was worried about is like what happens if it tips over and then, um, you know, it's already glued on. It's not like super glue where it dries almost instantly or like nail glue. Really, I haven't tried to pull them off, of course, but it like if it gets sideways, you can move it. It doesn't just automatically, automatically stick. Probably somewhere in between strip lash glue and super glue, I guess. I don't wanna, I, you're not super gluing your eyes, okay? Don't, don't think you are. I don't think. And I mean, like that's the drying time that I would compare it to because they're, they're on there, they're not coming off, but you do have a little bit of time to move it around if you need to. The thing that just came across my mind while I was doing this is I would strongly, I'm not a professional, but I would strongly recommend not using those perming kits that they have out. That's another thing that's been coming out a lot. And think about it. It is literally perm solution, okay? The kind that goes on your hair that burns your scalp. That's what they're putting on your eye. It's the same kind of thing when you do a lash perm. So I would not do that yourself. Go to a professional because you don't wanna get perming solution in your eye. I'm sure in the fine print, it says you could probably go blind of those kits. That's just my two cents on those perming ones. This I think is a little less uh, risky because I feel like the likelihood of you getting glue in your eye is pretty slim. Hey guys, I finished the other eye. They are just a smidge different, but I think that happens with like, no matter what you do. Let me move you guys. It's gonna be a little more crooked because I don't have anything to prop up my phone. But let me show you from the front so you can see the light. Here they are. They look pretty good, right? Oh my gosh, really good, oh my gosh. So I will update you guys, like I said, in like a couple days about how they're holding up, how I sleep in them. So when I'm ready to remove whatever's left of them, if they fall off. So, so far I think these are gonna be great for Mexico. It's the next day and I just got up and brushed them out with this fully, just like you would lash extensions. They actually looked fine, like even before being brushed out, they didn't need it, but it wasn't like as bad as I kind of expected. One thing I will say is I have lost three of these clusters, actually four, because I lost three and then I went to 
go replace one of them because one, since I lost one of them right here, it like made a really big gap. Does happen with lash extensions, but that kind of like, those kind of gaps don't happen the next day. They happen like, like a week and a half or two weeks down the line. So I lost four clusters uh, just with one night sleep. There weren't any on my pillow or anything, um, which is good. The thing is there's enough lashes, at least for me, um, that I can go and fix anything. So like if you're bringing this on or you're doing these for vacation, I would say bring the kit with you so that you can touch them up throughout the week or however long you're there. Far just based on one day slash one night sleep, these are not the same as lash extension. They're not gonna last you like lash extensions will. But I will update you guys in a couple of days and see how we're doing from there. I don't think they're gonna last two weeks. So probably like a week from now when I'm taking them off. So let's see what we'll see how the remover actually does. It's now Monday and as you can see, this eye looks a little bare. That's because last night at the gym, um, I lost two on the inner corner. So lost one on this eye somewhere. I couldn't tell you where. I think it was like right here. Three since we last spoke, which isn't too bad. Um, I honestly expected to lose like at least one a day. They still look okay. Like they're still wearable. I'm not gonna touch them up anymore. Like I did the first day just because I want it to be like a realistic review and if I'm touching them up every time one comes off, then it's not realistic. But so far, so good. Um, I don't know how many days it's actually been since I put them on, but I'll put it right here. They're pretty, pretty decent. These, This one's getting a little bit uncomfortable. Um, but like not at the moment, but like there's just a few like times where it's been like bothering me. <laughs> okay guys, so we have a problem. I took my makeup off because I'm about to head to the gym. I'm just a smidge of eyeshadow. <laughs> and so I was taking that off and, oh my gosh. Lost one more on this eye, which whatever. I could tell this one right here was about to come off. So I was just like, let me just like gently, you know, do this and like pull it off. It is that this one right here is stuck to three other ones. Those, they're all trying to come off now. One in the inner corner is all flipped through. I mean, look, these are like five stuck together. This is, okay, there they go. One, two, three, yeah, five. Basically all of them just came off all in one clump because they were stuck together. Now, is that user error? I don't know, I'm not a professional. I mean, it doesn't say you can't overlap them or anything. Of course, I'm sure like that's kind of a given. I mean, they're just barely touching though. So it's like the glue just like probably touched, I don't know. Seven natural lashes across this entire band of five clusters. That's not bad. You shed lashes every day, guys. Um, when lash extensions first started, becoming popular, uh, I const and I still see them all the time. Definitely see posts. Of course, there are bad lash sticks out there. There are, I've been to them. I've, well, I've been to one. I've been to one. I have experienced one in five years that did damage my lashes. Tell that they weren't done right by the feel of them. They looked great, but they weren't done right. Majority, I mean, I've been in the US, I've been in Japan, I've been in Germany now. I've gotten my lashes done a lot of places and I can tell you that it is not the norm to have a lash tech do your lashes wrong. But yes, you do shed lashes. So I'm not gonna sit here and be like, they made my lashes fall out like a lot of people would. No, they didn't. They didn't pull up my lashes. I would say seven lashes coming out across this many clusters, five clusters is pretty good. I would say wearing these long-term is where it would really damage your lashes. Like I think wearing them for a few days, even a week on vacation or out, you know, for the weekend or something. From what I just experienced, I wouldn't recommend putting makeup on after having these on or trying to take it off. If I were a lash extension and were to take off my eyeshadow. I, I took it off just how I would with lash extensions, super gently. I didn't rub my eyelashes or anything like that. And it still, they still came off. Oh look, there. see how gently I just did that and here comes another one. And they hold up for a few days at most. Okay, we're gonna try the remover. 
or that comes with the kit. It says to put it on a cotton pad. I don't have a cotton pad. These, um, like microfiber things. Cotton pad, which this is our cotton pad. I don't know how much. I hope this doesn't burn my eyes. Just to hold it over the lashes, the glue. I don't know. I just. super gentle and not being rough even though I feel like in videos it looks like stuff like when people are doing their makeup and things like that I feel like it looks a lot rougher <laughs> than it actually is I'm being super gentle oh my like, please come off okay see the, the glue is dissolving okay I'm gonna remove the rest of these and I'll come back okay well I'm lash free um that literally took like this eye was a lot faster um Maybe that's because there was less lashes on the side. Five minutes um, to do both eyes. This remover does not burn. I don't like being lash free, but I'm glad that we uh, tried the remover. And I would say this is a. I would say this is a pretty good product if you just need lashes for a few days or a vacation. So if you're using it for a vacation, especially if it's like a beach vacation or a vacation where you're going to be in the water, or just doing anything that could kind of mess with your lashes a little bit, definitely be sure to bring the extra lashes and glue with you because you're going to have to touch it up. These do not last two weeks. Very good product for temporary use, not to replace lash extensions completely. I will definitely be using these again. These are great, $12, uh, at least at the BX, they're $12. I, they might be a little bit more like Walmart or something. The alternative, if you can't afford lash extensions or whatever, but just know that these are going to be damaging for your lashes long term if you decide to use them for a long time. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was fun testing these out. I'm glad I took the chance on them because I almost didn't buy them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check me out over on Instagram as well as TikTok. Um, I am very active on both of those. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!